Welcome back to the Tiny Wee Boat. My name's Hannah. We've got an inspector on board, as you can see. <laughs> and it's been raining an awful lot, so we're flooded. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. So if you saw in our previous episode, on the left hand side, we've attached one of these metal box frame things. So Victor's just attaching one on the other side that we can use for storage or something else at another point and just to make sure that the back looks even. Now it had been raining really heavily and we noticed that there was a leak. If you can see at the carpet there, um, so Victor's just checking out to see if he can find it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at the carpet. We were pretty devastated when we saw this, but we tackled it or tried to tackle it head on. So here we are pouring water on the outside so that we can see if it can start dripping. There he is checking again. Can't see anything as of yet. And would you believe that Mr. Dog wanted to get involved? He thought that he would be able to find the leak and he was pretty determined to find it himself. <laughs> He's like, it's just behind here. I know it. I can feel it. <laughs> so far no luck we couldn't find it so we kept looking so we found the source of the leaky wall so now we're gonna fix it with sealant sealant we're gonna seal the leaky wall See that drip there? What are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to do some work. Can I have some work done? So Mr. Dog's basically like, this is my corner, you're not allowed to touch it. Leave it alone. Eventually he went to take a nap, which meant we were able to deal with the leak. Now you can see Victor's just trying to dry and add a little bit of sealant on there. But it was raining, so we couldn't fix it until it was dry outside. Look how satisfying this is. Oh, dang. <laughs> Not so satisfying when it snapped in half. That was silly. What? So I'm just cleaning the windows here, taking off the old stickers and then cleaning with some thinners to make it look good as new. There's a tiny wee break in the rain, so we're gonna try and put up our new tarpaulin so that we can fix the leak in the boat. Wish us luck. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So yes, you did hear that right. We got the boat new tarpaulin. Now the one that we had was amazing. It was like custom made for the boat. However, it was quite old, so it wasn't really doing its job. my 
my foot. Looks like grass, doesn't it? Turns out it is not. There's about three inches of water there that I just stood in. Then Victor is trying to tie on the tarpaulin, but it was really wet around the boat, so he got into all sorts of positions. Possession one. Possession two. Possession three. Possession four. And then my favourite, possession five. We forgot we had our wellies with us, so. I was laughing so much because Victor thought that I was talking to him then instead of talking to the camera, which was very funny. Would you just look at how flooded the grass was? It was so flooded that all these planks of uh, wood that we'd kept under ha were floating in the water. It was literally maybe five, six inches of water underneath there. Then Mr. Dog wanted to come and help or play in the mud, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so because the weather had been so bad, we kind of just decided that we had to empty everything from under the boat, right? Because it was all soaked and saturated. It was quite good because we got like a lot done, but it, we hadn't planned to do that today. Victor, the genius, put that bit of wood there so that we could use it as a step to get onto the boat. Very genius. Then it was a trip to the bins for the both of us. And what a beautiful sunset. Like, just look at that mud. It's just, it was so terrible. So we're just securing the bathroom panels on here. Right, we'll do the same again. And... Welcome to the tiny wee bird.
And then it was time to, yes, you guessed it, drill some more holes into the beaver. These are the holes that we're drilling for the battery box ventilation to make sure that the batteries can be ventilated on the outside. And you can see that Mr. Dog was quite concerned that we were drilling more holes into the boat. Yeah, look, he's like seriously watching what's happening. One more hole in the beaver. So here are the holes and here are the vents. So we're just attaching it all, pushing it all in, making sure that it's all in there securely. Then Victor is just putting some extra security around the battery boxes so that they are unable to move. As you can see, it was then time to pack up. So we were moving all of the boxes back from the boat into the van. It's been a muddy, muddy day at the tiny wee boat, but we've managed to do what we wanted to do, which is great. We are amazed with how things are looking. Cannot wait to get her finished, especially now that things are muddier. Um, it is going to make things a bit more difficult trying to keep it clean. Um, there's nothing like a clean beaver. Anyway, give us a wave. watching i hope you've enjoyed today's episode and hopefully we'll see you in the next one until then bye it was actually fireworks night when we were there so there were so many beautiful fireworks we thought that we would record it for you so that you can enjoy
know what we're doing right now. Well, it's been a muddy. Exhale. Anyway. And we'll see you in the next one. Doodly.